This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. Teeth, they're important. The average adult human person has 32 of them and they're normally used for biting things. Teeth is also the name of a very sketchy horror movie that you should never watch with your parents. Trust me. Teeth come in many different shapes and sizes throughout the animal kingdom. From molars and fangs to canines and tusks, animal dentists have plenty to work with. My name is Jason Miller, and you're watching 5 Weird Animal Facts. Number one on our list has teeth that hold the record for world's strongest biological material. Believe it or not, it's a type of marine snail called a limpet. Limpets scrape algae off of rocks using a tongue-like appendage called a radula, which is covered in sharp teeth less than a millimeter in length. Engineers in the UK tested tiny fragments of limpet teeth this past January and found that it was five times stronger than most spider silk, which for a long time was believed to be the strongest material found in nature. Just to put this into perspective, limpet teeth are stronger than steel, tougher than Kevlar, and can withstand pressures that would crush carbon into a diamond. Pretty badass for an animal that just sits around licking rocks all day. Number two is another squishy slimy sea creature that is slightly more intimidating, the sea lamprey. A jawless cartilaginous fish that has a suctioning mouth filled with sharp grasping teeth and a file-like tongue. You might have guessed these guys aren't vegetarians. They're actually parasites that feed on the blood and bodily fluids of fish during their juvenile stage. When it senses a prey item nearby, a lamprey swims terrifyingly fast and uses its gnarly teeth and suctioning lips to attach itself to a fish puncture its skin, and drink whatever leaks out. Sea lampreys live in fresh water during their juvenile parasitic stage, and they're most commonly found sucking on salmon and trout because of their small scales and thin flesh. They have an anticoagulant in their saliva that allows them to stay attached to their victims for days at a time, resulting in the world's most brutal hickey. Number three, the babirusa. This little piggy is found in the swamps and rainforest of Indonesia, where they prance around on their dainty little legs looking for food and beating the crap out of each other. These weirdos are gladiators of the pig world. When males fight for dominance, they rear up on their hind legs and use their hooves and side tusks to throw bows until one of them gives up. The tusks popping out of the top of their snout curl back towards their face and are used for protection during these battles. The babirusa's four tusks are actually modified canine teeth that continuously grow throughout their lives. So much so in fact that they occasionally grow back into the babirusa's forehead and puncture its skull. Come on evolution, get it together. Number four is an animal that really doesn't belong on this list because it has no teeth. But I included it anyway just for the sake of anarchy. The leatherback sea turtle. As I mentioned before, no teeth. However, their entire esophagus is lined with sharp tooth-like spines that point downward and cause nightmares. Like, imagine if your arm got stuck in there. Experts suggest that these spines aid in feeding both by preventing food from escaping and also shredding it into pieces to aid in digestion. And since their main food source is jellyfish, I find it kind of hard to believe that their prey works very hard to try and escape. But what do I know? Number five on our list is a species of deer that begins life small enough to fit into the palm of your hand. But then it grows up to have vampire teeth. Meet the Chinese water deer. These 20 pound cervids decided, screw antlers, I want to look like the squirrel from Ice Age. The male water deer's canines can grow over three inches and, like the babarusa, are used in combat during breeding season. These huge teeth are held loosely in their sockets and are actually controlled by facial muscles. This way, he can draw them back during feeding and thrust them outward during aggressive encounters. And since they're only three feet long and two feet tall, I really want one. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what animals and topics you want to see in future episodes, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Miller's Wildlife, and like Fiber and Animal Facts on Facebook. Also, follow me on Snapchat at Miller's Wildlife, L-Y-F-E, and since I'm a social media junkie, you can also now follow me on Periscope at Miller's Wildlife, L-I-F-E. I'm going to be doing live video Q&As every Sunday, so make sure to follow me on that and come hang out. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Animal Bites TV for more awesome animal things and stuff. And as always, my name is Jason Miller, and I'll see you next Monday on 5 Weird Animal Facts. I'm a wildlife rescuer, field expert, and conservationist. Welcome to Corey's Wild World. This is ABTV.